Bull and horses drive-bys had left the wild waste in chaos. But despite bagging a gunslinger with the wrestler's power, Kutaro still couldn't get Bull and Horse to give him the time of day. He wandered off feeling low, real low. Let us continue our adventure. Would you believe Bull and Horse were once happily married? He was easy, she was breezy, and they cared for and cherished each other. Until, that is, they were given moonstone shards, and well, trouble in paradise. Bull grew brawny and boastful, while horses' gait and ego alike gained frightening momentum. Of all the Moonbear King's generals, they could have been an unstoppable pair. But instead, they felt a petty squabbling and name-calling. Meanwhile, Kutaro was still stinging from his treatment at the hands of Mr. and Mrs. Livestock. He knew sticks and stones could break his poor puppet bones, but he couldn't put a name to what he felt now. Those arrogant beasts hadn't even given him the time of day. He felt like a nobody, and that was tough medicine to swallow. Katara, what's wrong? You look blue. What's that on your face? Whoa! Check this out! It's you, Kataro! Wanted! Dead or alive for the dastardly theft of Calibris and the Moonstone! Approach with extreme caution! Whoa! Look at the zeros on this bounty! Holy smokes! They're plastered all over the place! You must be famous. No. Infamous. <laughs> now, nah, what am I saying? Woolen Horse blew you off big time. Maybe if you were taller, or like, grew a mustache or something. Oh well, don't sweat it. Katara, what's wrong? Hey, wait up! Was it something I said? Kutaro was on a mission now. His pride had been wounded, and beating the bull and horse was the only band. Our young hero was like a different person. He hunted down the generals with a newfound fury. Those two could be halfway across the moon by now. <laughs> like the you loser! Get the out of my face! <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> How dare that stupid steer block the road! That's cheating! I can't believe you let drops for me, you creep! I could have avoided it! Those bikes, and why are they riding alongside us? Planning to catch them before the sun goes down? There's a sign you can't miss. A real cow? Oh, a stupid cow! Can you give me a Tariaka burger called the meat? You mean like a bun? That put some fuel in my tank. Dang! He gets good mileage. Out of my way! I got here first, you nag! Now's your chance! Slam him! <laughs> Adios, jump! Ugh, horse got away! After her! Despite having finally landed his first hard-earned blow on General Bull, 
Kujaro still hadn't made a blip on the couple's radar. Oh, that was their race. Kutaro had had it up to here with being ignored. He was going to get Bull and Horse's attention. Violent fantasies flashed across his mind. It has no gun! Oh, uh, here comes the highway patrol. Don't tell those coppers nothing! I'll get you a lawyer! This just in. Shots were fired on Route 66 today, shortly after high noon. Charged with the disturbance was Kotaro, a puppet, whom Moon Police apprehended on the scene for possession of a loaded firearm. A moonwide APB for the suspect was already out in connection with the theft of calibers from Castle Grizzlestein and a recent string of Moonstone heists. Don't worry! The leading man may get thrown into jail, but he always breaks out. It's like a trap. Breaking news! We've just received reports that accused scissor thief and moonstone smuggler Kotaro has escaped from prison. Police are urging all law-abiding grubs to stay vigilant and avoid confronting the suspect, who is considered armed and snippy. Fire chased after Kutaro with the ferocity of a wild animal. What's with all these cacti? I finally lost her! Not that I had any doubts! Let's knock this drum can over and send Bullhead for a loop! Nelly! Well, we lost Bull, but we gained a way forward. 
sticks on the verge of collapse. Yes, the ground looked ready to do that thing where it crumbles just inches behind the fleeing hero. Look, it's horse! She's still racing. I win! Win! Oh, she looks ready to keel over. Let's put her out of her misery. Look what you've done, you moon! I was seconds from winning! How dare you make me forfeit the race? I was about to beat this bovine! Oh, yeah? Well, now you can fight Kataro instead. <laughs> fight this pathetic big squeak! <laughs> oh, maybe when he's out of diapers. What's the matter? Chicken? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? You gonna run back to your chicken coop? How dare you call me a barnyard animal? <laughs> we barbarize you! First one to the train station wins! Whoa! Hey, wait just a darn second. You're supposed to duel, not race. Who was wrong? Throwing in the towel? Why even try when you know you're going to lose? You're a loser, Kutaro! They should call you, I'm gonna lose, Taro! Wait, wait, my mother doesn't follow through, Taro! <laughs> Fine. If you want to race, we've got one condition. You have to wager your Moonstone Shards. If Kataro takes first, you cough up the family jewel. My Moonstone shard? Hey, <laughs> real tiny, I'm not that stupid. You should be honored just to gallop with the big girls. Oh, I see how it is. You're the one scared of losing. Guess you better pack it in now, you pack animal. You wouldn't want to take any chances. You might end up buying the farm. Oh. <laughs> Hi, the Moonstone. You got yourself a deal, sister. But when this is over, I'm going to wipe that smirk right off your face! Runners are off. Kutaro bursts from the gates, but in front is General Horse. It's General Horse. Behind in second is Kutaro No Head. It's Kutaro No Head. He's clearing the obstacles and closing ground, but General Horse is keeping him a few lengths behind. I'll teach you to trust my ride! Kutaro on the outside. It's <laughs> Kutaro on the outside. He's running like he means it. A carrot! Oh, oh, what a jump! Kutaro is on General Horse's back. If she's gonna cheat, then I say let's gallop on down this filly and show her what's what. And another burst of speed. Look at Kutaro go. He's going for broke. Jump. Again! Kutaro on the inside. Kutaro on the inside. He's showing no mercy with that whip as he closes the gap with General Horse. No mercy. What a whipping! What the heck? This is unbelievable, folks. A cattle car that carries lions. No tigers or bears? Oh my! An elephant too? Oh dude! A rainbow! 
didn't know any better, you might have thought Picarina was on vacation. Excuse me for living in the moment. And we're back in the race. Dynamite is raining down. Bones are being magic back to life. Cacti, scorpions, kudros jumping and sliding through the steeplechase from hell. He's on the passenger car. Soak in the moon's face than from the lavish seat of that classic locomotive. <laughs> Sound the whistle, stoke the cows. Today you're riding on the Horsey Emperor Express. Hello! Life and death race speaking! Hello, we're not at the zoo. Life and death ray speaking, right? horse across the wild waste, caught up with a locomotive, ridden on the back of said locomotive, and boy was his butt sore. Look out! Boulder! Another! Bleached bones like sharpened fangs, scorpions, Kutaro's horses on the bit as he shrugs off every danger. Between slicing through smokestack plumes and dodging flaming curls, Kutaro had a busy time of reaching the front of the train. Yes, finally! Kutaro was aboard the finest train this side of Neptune. Oh, but I wouldn't give to be in his shoes. Our uh, shoes. Ah, whatever. Now. Let's have a look at the Horsey Entel Express's award-winning dining car. The lacy white tablecloths, the thick, juicy steaks. The completely annoying train geek. Kutaro is right on General Horse, right on her. He's in the straight, the post is in sight. Follow that cold smoke, kid. Ride like the wind, you're almost there. Go for home. You can do it. And the slam smashes through the tender behind General Horse, derailing her. She throws the emergency brake as Kutaro overtakes her. First place, Kutaro. First place, Kutaro. Looks like the town's celebrating. Thank you! Thank you! That was not a real victory. And if it was, it was over her! Not over me! After all the dismissals, Kutaro had finally gotten horse to throw down, and it felt good. I'm gonna snort you to kingdom gum! Say your prayers. Don't stand in front! Get behind her! The train's got mixed up! 
Only the latest in high-tech gadgets. His internal pressure was steadily galloping toward a boil, and trying to contain it did terrible things to her temper. Had she consulted a doctor earlier, this terrible tragedy might have been averted. Yeah, help her let off some steam. One more slam ought to do it. No, it won't! Picarina hurtled into the sky and far, far away. Far, far away they flew. Kutaro and Picarina flew far. And they landed. <coughs> they landed. Already. Oh, hey! Wow! I'm okay! Kataro, you got all your parts? Come on, quit messing around! Look at this place! Like, where are we? I mean, donde estamos? 